Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to the very first episode of Likanayan. Siyempre, for our first episode, intro-intro muna kami. My name is Anthony Bicomo. Hi, I'm Jana Gales. I'm Donna Mayabe. What's up? I'm Von Ramos. And I'm your cute, cute, cute host, Victor Sadaria. So kung hindi nyo pa alam, ba't kami nandito? Ba't pa kayo nanonood? Joke lang. <laughs> so TLDR, para sa mga panakakita ng teaser namin, we're a group of grade 12 students trying to make the lives of grade 9 to grade 10 students a little easier by providing them more context as to what awaits them in SYP if they choose to take up physics as a core or as an elective. Kung naghahanap ko yun ng parang ganito for bio or chem, we're very sorry kasi physics po kami lahat so baka ma-fake news namin kayo kung yun yung discuss namin. Pero mali nyo kung maging successful itong series namin baka may gumawa sa sunod ng for bio or for chem, di ba? 2022. Pero syempre, hindi lang naman to for grade 9 grade 10. Pwede rin naman to for 7 and 8 or even other schools. Anyone is open to watch if they want to learn a little more about the physics life. And for the last part sa aming plug, stick around until the later part of this video for a quick kwentuhan session on some of our experiences the topics for today. Yun. Anyway, diretso na muna tayo sa pag-uusapan natin today which is fluids. So as you guys probably already know, fluids are substances that flow freely and easily. So water, air, ganun, and they also exert buoyant forces due to their ability to flow. Grabe! Ang cool naman! Well, this isn't necessarily cool. As in, malamig. Pero sige, kausin ka masaya. Speaking of masaya, sana masaya kayong mga viewers ngayon at hindi kayo pressured masyado sa mga recs nyo. Because pressure is force over area, you know? Pressure exists in the three states of matter. So kahit solid, liquid, or gas, may pressure yan. It's easy to see sa solid since yun din yung easiest na i-demonstrate. Like with pinching or hammering a nail to poke a hole. Pero medyo nag-iiba kasi siya sa fluids. Oh, totoo. Because with fluids, mas makikita yung pressure na na-exert on the fluid itself. So like, yung mass niya. Or yung expansion of fluid. This isn't to say that solids don't exert pressure via mass or expansion, pero kasi mas madali lang makita sa solids yung mga external force na nagpa-pressure sa isang bagay, di ba? So, as for some examples for fluids, isa na yung extra weight na nararamdaman mo sa bottom ng pool, kunwari. So, yun yung pressure ng tubig at ng hangin na nasa taas mo, pushing down on you. So, isa pa yung sa airplanes or sa car pag umaakit kayo ng bundok. So, yun yung pag-pop ng tenga mo. Pop. Charot. <laughs> Dahil yun yung sa pag-expand ng hangin sa loob ng tenga mo. Okay. So, for a more solid, or rather, liquid, ha? <laughs> Demonstration ng pressure, may equations naman tayo for that. Yung pinaka-primary nga is yung F over A, or force over area, na nabanggit ni Anthony kanina. But for fluids with depth, or pressure over a depth, kung tawagin, the equation is P equals rho GH. Kung isipin nyo, this equation actually makes sense, no? Rho is yung density ng fluid, G is gravity, tapos H yung height. So, yung density kasi, mass over volume. So, kapag multiply mo yun sa height, diba, it becomes mass over area. O, tapos pag multiply mo rin yun sa gravity, mass times gravity becomes weight, which is also force. So, the whole equation just becomes F over A. Boom! Derivatories! <laughs> Summary lang sa sinabi ni Von. Kung na-confuse kayo, yung equation for pressure over a depth para sa fluids ay P equals rho GH, which is equivalent to P equals FA lang, technically. Meron pa tayo isang equation para naman sa total pressure, which is basically just P atmosphere plus P fluids where P atmosphere is 1 atm or 101,325 pascals, tapos P fluid yung kakadiscuss lang. This one is used kapag open air yung lalagyan mo ng fluid since syempre may hangin above the open air container, di ba? So we take that into account. Kung gusto niyo naman ng madaling experiment, you can fill a 1 liter Coke bottle with water or put it na lang sa ilalim ng running faucet. And then, magpoke kayo ng hole sa may baba and sa may taas or gitna ng bottle. 
And you have to use the same poker, ah, kasi dapat same size lang yung dalawang butas. And then, kung may kita nyo, medyo mas malayo yung pag-flow ng water sa lower na butas, which shows na mas mataas yung pressure doon. Kasi mas malaki yung force na nagpapa-flow sa kanya. So, that's the basics of fluids down. Now, let's move on to some of the principles from some old dudes. Una-una yung Archimedes principle. This one comes from his Eureka moment, the infamous. Simply put, it says na the volume displaced is the volume submerged. So, pag may nilunod ka na 5 milliliters na bagay, in an ideal world, 5 milliliters sakto rin yung nabawas sa tubig mo. Siyempre, magkakatalo na lang pag may dumikit na tubig sa gilid ng container ng tubig or whatever. But you still get close enough to 5 milliliters in a day. May question din pala to relating to buoyant force. FB is equals to V rho G which defines buoyant force as equivalent to the weight of the displaced fluid. So next up is Pascal's principle which says that a pressure change in one part of the fluid is transmitted to all parts of the fluid without loss. So, pag sa container ko, meron akong dalawang butas of the same size, tapos nilagyan ko ng 5 newtons of force yung isang butas, malalabas rin na 5 newtons sa kabilang butas. The equation is simply, force 1 over area 1 is equal to force 2 over area 2. So, this actually enables hydraulics. Kasi kapag maglagay ka ng 10 newtons or approximately 1 kilo sa maliit na butas, lalabas yun sa kabilang butas ng container na sabihin nating 6 meters squared as 30 newtons, which is quite larger than the force inputted. Meron din naman tayong tinatawag na continuity equation. And again, medyo simple lang naman yung mismong equation, which is area 1 times velocity 1 is equal to area 2 times velocity 2. So this says lang naman na the smaller the area, the faster the fluid. And then vice versa, the larger the area, the slower the fluid. And nagki-carry on yung principle na to throughout the fluid. So kapag mabilis siya sa point A kasi maliit yung dinadaanan, babagal rin naman siya sa point B pag lumaki yung dadaanan niya. Madali lang siyang i-demonstrate because it's what happens when you cover half of a hose's opening. So di ba bumibilis yung tubig and then pag binitawan mo, babagal siya ulit. Finally, meron din tayong Bernoulli's principle na nagsasabing an increase in fluid speed means a simultaneous decrease in pressure or potential energy. Ang equation natin for this one isn't as short as the others, so di mo na namin i-explain in depth at baka ma-overwhelm kayo. Basta yun yun, para siyang mas complex na continuity because it takes more things into account. That's about it for fluids actually. So it's pretty short, like me. So syempre, let's start quick and simple lang muna. Pero next time, magtitakal na tayo ng mga big brain na topics. So there you have it for grade 11 first quarter. Sana nagets niyo naman kahit pa paano because now we'll move on to our next segment. Para mas credible naman yung pag-uusap namin dito ngayon na ini-encourage namin kayo mag-physics, we'll try our best for you guys to get to know us more. So, ano nga ba yung mga planned majors niyo sa college after grade 12, guys? I plan on taking mechanical engineering like a good physics boy. Actually, second choice ko yung mechanic, pero secret na lang yung first choice ko kasi hindi siya physics related. Ang plan akong major in college is computer science. Kasi wala lang, ba't hindi? Also, I don't mind it. Like, I don't mind CS like, doing Yes. Tira mo ngayon, mga 15 hours a day ako nasa harap ng laptop. I'm fine with that. So, it's like, you know. <laughs> ako, medyo complicated, I guess. Because my original plan talaga was to take off, take aerospace engineering. But, um, super konti lang nung nag-offer here. Or I think wala. I'm not sure. Pero, it's not in UP, which is the target school, of course. So, Ayun, um, uh, what I selected as my first choice in UP right now is civil engineering. Kasi I know the parang the fallback, I guess, of someone who wants to take aerospace, supposedly mechanical engineering. Pero I don't love the other parts of mechanical engineering, if you get what I mean. Parang gusto ko lang yung aerospace part. So, ayun, civil eng. So, for me naman, 
uh, actually ako yung sinasabi ni Jana na fallback yung mechanical engineer. <laughs> actually, initially, gusto ko talaga mag aerospace. Kaso na-realize ko na like, wala naman din ako masyado alam sa aerospace. So, ba't ako mag aerospace And na-enjoy ko rin naman yung kinematics and dynam- dynamics sa physics so far. So, napadpad ako sa pagkamahal sa mechanical engineering talaga. So, actually, side note lang na may Philippine State College of Aeronautics which offers aeronautical courses and there's actually an aerospace engineering course in Ateneo de Davao, I think. But, Tapit yes. layo. Mas maano talaga siya sa abroad. So, yeah, uh-huh. sad. So, same with Jana and Donna. I also actually wanted to take an aerospace engineering course, but since wala tayong international schools, so, <laughs> hindi, hindi naman sa wala. Pero, mahirap lang talaga makakuha ng international school and ng international scholarship. So, for now, I will try to stay in the Philippines and take a mechanical engineering course in UP or a material science and applied physics double course in Ateneo. Pero, like, with that, naka-affect ba yung pagka-physics score or whatever nyo sa mga gusto nyo maging sa future? Ganun. Naka-affect na sa akin, specifically, is circuit. Kasi, nung dati-dati pa, inisip ko rin, what if I take on doing robot or like, doing things that can move by themselves and stuff like that. And then, uh, circuit came and then I totally bombed. I was so confused for the whole quarter. It discouraged me to take on um, on that um, part of physics. So electronics and electronics engineering for me is very difficult. Also, computer science really did not click with me. So maybe that part can be taken by someone else, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sticking with my theoreticals because I really like the theoreticals. Ako medyo same, medyo same lang kay Victor kasi like ever since bata ako, like pili ko na mga likod ng kung ano-anong bagay. Isarain ko yung remote tas ayusin ko ulit yung ganun. <laughs> so like I thought Hindi ayos niya ulit, di ba? Yeah. So like I thought <laughs> na ayun nga, uh, robotics or something like that. Uh, ayun, like gaya nga na sabi ni Victor I got introduced to electronic electronics and bleh. so punta tayo mech eng kasi ayun nga parang actually hindi ko naman masyadong natripan like ever yung electronic stuff or yung like software stuff I was more about the hardware and like literally the mechanics of stuff and like making stuff move kind of that kind of stuff machines that's it. Actually, about that, like, isa rin sa reasons kung ba't ako na-inspire mag-mecking was cause yung rest natin dun. Mm. You saw how like, uh-huh. complicated but in a such simple sense naging, like, sobrang simple nung pagka-complicated niya, if that makes sense. <laughs> na like, we just tried to make it move as much well as possible. We didn't do any software stuff and na like, simulations pero like sobrang rewarding pa rin nung pagkagawa nung mismong prototypes namin. So for those of you who probably don't know, um, our study is the development of slow drift motion based oh. water turbines. Wow. 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 <laughs> Look at this dude. Tapos, pero anyway, isipin nyo, nakapanalo na kami ng dalawang competes na plus isang digital poster award for having this research na hindi naman kami nag-simulate na anything and we didn't True. use software. We really just made this product and it somehow worked. We don't even know why. Okay, okay pero wait, wait, wait. In, in grade 10 ba, did you guys like, were you guys sure na na parang, yes, I will go take physics core and yes, mm. I will take this major in college? I, uh, ako personally, medyo sure na ako nung grade 10. Actually, earlier pa, grade 9 pa lang na I wanted to take like honestly pag pagdating ng grade 8 grade 9 grade 10 uh, I was only really choosing between physics and chem because I really didn't like bio like I was not invested in bio at all so pinipipilian ko na lang yung physics and chem 
And by the time grade 10 rolled around, I realized I didn't really like chem. Like, it was okay. It was kind of fun, I guess. But it didn't really speak to me as a subject, I suppose, compared to physics. Unrelated, but also kind of related. Sobrang mas napamahal ako sa, like, physics teachers ko in grade 9 and grade 10 compared to my chem teachers. So, maybe that's just a bias thing. But, like, ayun. Uh, I found that I liked physics a lot more than I liked chem. So, by the time grade 10 rolled around, I was sure na, na okay, physics tayo. Ako medyo similar din with Von na medyo driven din by the fact na I really like the teachers. Like, Ma'am Boni, shout out po to you. I love you. You helped me, like, develop that love for physics na sobrang kahit ang hirap ng prob sets. Tapos minsan, like, nagpapa-explain na lang talaga ako kay Dasalia kasi hindi ko talaga gets. <laughs> like, sobrang challenging pag, like, na-figure out mo yung probs. Tapos feel mo, ang dami-dami yung dami brain cells. <laughs> the person who got me to physics talaga ako, Sir Delphine Angeles, the OG, the legend. Um, nababa ng grade ko sa kanya, actually, 1-7 ako sa kanya. Tapos, like, pinapipilian ko rin physics and chem, same as Vaughn. Tapos chem was like easier to me. It wasn't like easy, easy, but it's easier than physics for me personally. Like one, two, five ata ako sa chem. Pero, Let's... ewan, parang mas, mas gusto ko yung, mas na-enjoy ko physics. Parang mas na-challenge ako yan. And it makes sense kasi, ayun nga, originally I wanted to go making. So, syempre, the, the path to making is physics. So, yun. Actually, nalaman ko lang sa ano, transcripts nung... Sorry! <laughs> nalaman ko lang sa transcripts nung college applications na like physics pala yung pinakamababa kong ano, science. Hindi ako aware. Hindi <laughs> ko lang ba't ako rin. napunta rin. dito? Ako rin. Ako rin. Dude, mahirap pero worth. Yun! Uh, okay, so for me, um, physics in three words, Anna, Carmela, Bonifacio. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Oh, Anthony. Oh, nalabanan ko yung kay Victor. Oh, no. Uh, red-handed kid. Oh, oh bro! Okay. Oh, alam niyo ba kung ano red-handed kid? Wala akong maisip na three words for physics, honestly. Like, I think the closest I would get is like, Diko gets. <laughs> 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 like there's there's a lot that I don't get talaga about physics but it's okay it's kind of fun similarly to Anthony my three words are try so hard because you have to try hard when you're in physics sometimes pagdating sa lesson like pag nasa lesson ka feel ko feel mo ang talino mo kasi nagigets mo kasi like magaling naman yung teacher so like feel mo gets mo yung topic pero pag naharap ka sa exam parang nararamdaman mong walang natira. Parang tinain mo lahat ng natutunan mo. Uy! Napaka-obscene. <laughs> no, that works. That works. Ano mga physics to? Pero actually, physics is weird. <laughs> yung na-appreciate ko sa physics sa SYP is the fact na nagagamit natin yung lesson sa math, sa physics. And vice like, versa. Like, sobrang connected niya. Like, feel ko kung wala yung physics, di ko masyadong ma-absorb yung message ng calculus. Like, wow, mas nagigets ko yung, wow, message! Like, feel ko mas nagigets ko yung essence niya or whatever, at least, dahil sa physics, which is nice. Ay, enjoy ko lang dahil sa ano, physics, na appreciate ko yung small moments. Na, alam niyo yung pag nasa pool kayo, tapos may hawa kayong sababida, ganun. Tapos yung kickboard actually. Oh, oh, hindi, hindi naman sa ganun specifically. Pero yung may kickboard ka, tapos pag humihinga ka, kasi gumagalan ka, mababa ka for some reason. Tapos pag nag-exhale ka, tataas ka. Which is just cool because that's fluids and pressure and I get to appreciate that because I'm physics core joke. Wow. 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 Bye. Okay, guys. So, that's it. Actually, that's all the time we have, unfortunately, for this video. But tune in to our next video to see some new faces and a Yay. new lesson. Bye. 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 Bye.